Welcome to episode 19, A Hoarder. Please turn on closed captioning if you're having difficulty understanding what I'm saying. You know, the inspiration for this blog episode came to me recently during a conversation with a friend who I who had bought something for and who I thought had abandoned the item, leaving it to be destroyed. Yes, I know that theoretically, if you gift somebody something, they should be free to do whatever they want with it. But sometimes the nature of the gift, or how or to whom it's given, can leave you feeling a loss if the item is then simply discarded. Well, it turned out that there was quite a bit more behind why this item I gave my friend had to be abandoned, but the whole issue made me start thinking about my attachment to things. People who know me know that I'm a hoarder. It probably runs in my family because I have a sister who is a big time hoarder too. Most hoarders, but not all, tend to have chucked up places. Their homes or apartments or whatever are filled to the brim with stuff. If the hoarder is an organized person, then the place is filled and everything seems in place, but the place is still congested. If the hoarder is disorganized, then the place is just crammed and messy. But not all hoarders live in chucked up places. That's because there are a lot of things you can hoard, and while most hoarders hoard physical things, not all do. And some people have the resources or ability to keep the stuff they hoard in a separate place from where they live or habitate. A hoarder is different from a collector who is someone who amasses specific items such as coins or artifacts or pelts or trophies for whatever need or reason. Hmm. I'm remembering this Paul Newman movie called The Last Castle that I watched recently. There's this scene where the prison warden listens surreptitiously as this newly arrived prisoner is in another room examining the warden's collection of war artifacts and says any man with a collection like this is a man who has never set foot on a battlefield <laughs> but let's not divert further let's just say a hoarder is different from a collector in that a hoarder collects a lot of stuff they don't need much of which is seemingly of no value and may well be not sold or even given away but simply discarded by the hoarder's heirs after the hoarder dies. But some hoarders also collect a lot of stuff they don't need but which is of immense value. Maybe the hoarder didn't realize the value or more likely they did but still wanted to hoard whatever it is. You know, a lot of very rich people hoard wealth. Think about that for a bit. Hoarding wealth. I'd like to think I'm one of those who would be considered an organized hoarder. Whatever the verdict on that sentence, the operative word is still a noun, hoarder. I recognize that I'm a hoarder, so I've spent some time considering why I hoard stuff and my thought and reason as to why sort of became clarified in an even more recent discussion I had with another friend. I hoard not because I cherish stuff, but because I cherish the value of stuff. What's the value of stuff? For me, the value is what the stuff means to me, and what it means to me can be derived from a lot of different things. It could be because of who gave something to me, or where I bought it, or why I bought the item, or the occasion that the item represents. I figure it's the same with most hoarders. It's not necessarily the monetary value, but some intrinsic value they hold dear that cause them to hold on to certain things. So that's why I haven't minded considering myself a hoarder. That is, until now. The word hoard, by definition, suggests keeping from, as in keeping something away from somebody else. A recent house move reunited me with some of the things I've been hoarding. Some were stuff 
I hadn't looked at in 10 years or more. Books, magazines, cassettes, clothes, photographs. Photographs. Tons of photographs. Liquor. Porn. <laughs> memorabilia. I was hoarding them all. Yeah, some will be kept by my ears. But much will probably just be trashed when I'm gone. So I thought further about what I'd said about some hoarders like me hoarding stuff they value. And I thought of the things I hoard and the intrinsic value I've placed on them. And I realized that the value to me that I was placing on some of them really wasn't much of a value at all. I was cherishing things like an excessive amount of never-worn clothes that were just wasting away, when deep down I knew I'd never really wear them. So, why keep them when they can be of so, such greater value to someone else? That's what I thought. The end result is that I'm no longer proud of my hoarding. I'm re-examining the things I hoard. I'm putting my photos and paintings and certificates and memorabilia on display or readily accessible so I can enjoy them. But I'm looking to stop collecting stuff I don't use. And I'm giving away the excess stuff. I'm giving away things like all the clothes I've been hoarding that I don't really need and will li likely never wear. My new motto is, use stuff I have or make it be of more value to someone else. So I'm becoming less of a hoarder. What about all the liquor I've been hoarding? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely using that.